Hey honeys, it's Erica J here and welcome back to Honey Eye Sales. Keep on watching. So in this video guys, I'm showing you some products I use for some eyeless extensions. Here we have our hydrogel eye patch. It's actually eye patch, yeah, not eye pads. And then some eye cleanser um, infused with tea tree oil. This is what it does. It makes foam so that you can use cotton pads, lint-free pads, or just some soft tissue to wipe all the dust and moist and makeup residue. There you can see some dust from my hands. It's probably from the towel. And here is some curve tweezers that I use. This one is more blunt and one is very sharp. And I have some glue, adhesive for the eyelashes and then micro pore as well. I will be putting the products in my description box. Here I have a glue plate with some glue that was from previous clients. And there we have a blower. And we do have, I normally use my fan. And then some people use a nanomister. I will show you a video on that in the future as well. The nanomister just sprinkle mist over the eyes. It's very soothing. So here yeah, I have a very special person, which I'm just going to patch up. I will patch her up and just walk you guys through the steps of how we do eyelashes. Yeah, I'm just cleansing the eyes for any moist or product oily products that she may be used and i'm just using the eyelash cleanser which has tea tree or tea tree in and not tea tree oil so just mind that so it's better to remove all the moisture this will just help with the adhesive process because you want your lashes to last so that's why we do this and we keep the hygiene going, you know, keeping the lashes clean. That will also help because lashes should be falling out as your own hair growth cycle does. And here I'm just applying the patches. I am applying it on the lower lashes or her bottom lashes. As you can see here, because you want to get all of her natural bottom lashes down. And by using the eye patch, this will just help protect the skin under the, the, under the eyes as well. And now I will be using the micro pore and just go over that eye patches. Whichever hairs I missed, I will just press them down as well. As in the video. As you see, I took three strands of micro pore just to keep the curve under the eyes. So that when she closes her eyes, it is not, there is no discomfort. And here I'm just placing one on top. And this will help me pull the lash up a bit whenever I need to. Now I will proceed with adding some eyelashes. Here I have a tray lashes. This is volume lashes. And it is 0 0.075. 
and I will be applying some 2D, 3D fans here. And we will apply on each and every strand that you are seeing here. That is how we do these eyelashes. And what I do is in my outer corners here at the ends where I'm busy, I will normally keep it shorter than the middle and the inner corners will be another size shorter than the end. It depends on what the look the client obviously wants. I will go into a in-depth video of different types of looks or different types of styles the eyelashes can be applied in. So yeah, I will just proceed with doing this so that you guys can see the before and after of how we apply lashes. Because yeah, this video was actually just made for for you guys to see the process that we're doing. And I cannot wait for this lockdown to be done. So now I can see all my clients. I'm super excited for that. So as you can see, I will just proceed into doing this. And you will see the results in a minute. <laughs> see as we go along we move in between all the lashes that we placed and make sure that it is on one lash one natural lash and the lashes that we are using is synthetic hair it's very very almost natural <laughs> so yeah and now for the reveal shot here you can see whenever the are lashes that you pick up which you feel this one does not need to be placed or your fan is not created you can just put it down and the dots that you see on on the micro pore here those are some of the access glue that I have on the synthetic hair which I just dab on on the micro pore so that you don't have any clustery knots or clogging on and in between the natural hairs because you don't want any of the clusters or clogging because you want these lashes to grow out and 
you still need to be able to use your your mascara brush a dry mascara brush to just fan through these lashes and it should feel like you have nothing on your eyes it should it should definitely look very real and that is always the look that we are going for some people want very dramatic lashes and some people just want it simple and beautiful and Yes, everyone has their own preference. So, yeah, I'm just checking if everything is in order. Make sure before you take all the the tapes off that there are no sticky ones or any of the bot- uh, the top lashes are sticking to the bottom. That is what you need to look for before you take that tape off. Yeah, I'm just fanning it dry. And oh, how I wish for lashes, because they look terrible during the lockdown. <laughs> oh, but yeah, what can we do? And this one is just babbling and babbling and babbling. And I always enjoy her company and conversation. And miss her so dearly. I do think that she will hate me for this video. <laughs> but she agreed to do it. So let's see, maybe she'll comment. So yeah, I'm just massaging the eyes. It's just soothing, especially when the client has to open the eyes. That make sure that your glue is completely dry before they do so because you don't want them to tear up. Some people are more sensitive than others as well. So we have to keep that in mind too. And voila, here we have our final look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did doing it. And I hope to see you guys in so many more videos to come. And I'm just checking if all the hairs are loose and getting them in order. For the picture that we are about to take so don't forget to like and subscribe guys share comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye